Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Marvel Comic Chronicles. Today I am going to be doing my January wrap up. So let's just begin. Um, I wanted to include some stats in my videos from now on, but I think I'm gonna be writing them right there. So let's just dive in and let me tell you my stats. So this month I read 11 books for a total of 3,000. 155 pages um, which is about 204 pages every day um, I read seven five-star books two four-star books one three-star book and one two-star book uh, so it was a very good reading month for me uh, the average rating that I gave is 4.4 out of five stars I read three arcs as ebooks, um, seven physical books, and one audiobook. Um, I also read two YA, two middle grade, five adults, and two graphic novels. I read four fantasy, two sci-fi, three lit fic, uh, literary fiction, sorry. Um, one romance and one contemporary and I read three on voices books which helps with my reading more diversely I read um, five books off of my TBR video that I made for January I read three books out of my annual TBR and I read five physical books that I already owned and that, that, that weren't new. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's just dive into the books that I read in January. Let's first start with the books I read as ARCs. Um, they are all ARCs that I received from the galley. Um, they were all read on my Kindle. So, uh, the first one is Fragments of Femininity by... Olivier Pont, I guess is his name because he's French um, and I rated that two stars and I didn't like this. It was a graphic novel um, all centered around uh, seven women, um, seven or eight women, I'm not sure, um, and it's all stories about their breasts. and. To be honest, I didn't read um, the full synopsis before starting reading it, so I didn't realize it was uh, the main focus was how breasts represent women in like sort of way, and I just thought that it was very sad that this was the intent of this book, because I I think that if the characters were a little more uh, developed through their personality through their actions instead of their breasts, it would have been much better. And of course, we all have boobs. I have like humongous boobs, but they do not define me. So I don't know, it was very weird, um, but overall it was uh, not, not worth the time that I spent on it. If you wanna know more, uh, I will link all of the um, Goodreads review that I did this month. I am trying really hard to be better at that So it's down there if you want to know all of my developed thoughts for this one The second book I finished in January is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert um, This one I gave three stars uh, It is a release that just came out at the end of the month um, So I also did a full review on this and I will link it in the cards so please go check it out um, if you want to know more of my thoughts, but overall it was really good. But I think it could be better and it definitely isn't as amazing as the hype uh, tends to put it. So I guess that's why I gave it 3 stars, just because it was overhyped to me. The third arc I read this month is definitely my favorite and it's probably one of my favorite books of all time. And it is I Am Thunder by Muhammad... Um, Khan and I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. It is the story of um, Mazna who is a Muslim teenager um, in London. Could be considered an, an own voices 
book. I am not 100% sure, so please don't quote me on that. But I will have a review uh, coming up very, very soon. So I will link it in the cards when it comes out. It comes out physically on January 8th, but you can still, um, you can actually get it now as an ebook. So that's why I didn't publish my review yet. I just wanted to wait for it to be uh, accessible um, in all formats. And the first physical book I completed this month is Kafka on the Shore by Aruki Murakami. And as you know, I like Murakami. He's great. His writing is amazing. And um, this is the story of Kafka Tamura, who um, decides one day that he wants to uh, just run away from home, so he does, and actually um, his father dies during um, that runaway, so, um, you know, things happened, um, he, he um, his searched, and it's just his um, self-discovery and, uh, you know, self-exploration book, and there's also Nakata, who is a very lovable old man who can talk to cats and it is just so beautiful um i loved the first part of this book it was my favorite part i thought that nakata, nakata was the best character ever it was amazing and i loved him and i mean i am i am obsessed with cats so like the fact that can, he can talk to cats was just so lovable and he is so self-aware he isn't as intelligent as like the majority of people and he is so self-aware of this but he takes his power of talking to cats to help uh, rescue cats from the streets it is just so beautiful and I I actually preferred Nakata over uh, um, what's his name again Kaf Kafka because Kafka was just like so self-centered and so not ego I don't know how to how to say it he just I didn't like him and this is sort of a retelling of uh, ODP I don't know how to say that so I will put it right there so ODP Rex I think it's the name in English um, and I just hate ODP Rex. It's the worst thing in freaking life. I don't like it. I mean, it's okay if you like it, but I hate it. I hate it so much. So the fact that this is a retelling of this myth made it so not enjoyable to me. And it was more, um, the myth was more related to Kafka. So that might be why I didn't like him all that much. But uh, yeah, anyways. Nakata is amazing, it was worth uh, all the read and I cried and I laughed and it was beautiful and I would definitely recommend this but I don't think this is the best Murakami book out there. I give it four stars. Um, next is The Monroe Thieves by Sherry de Malin. This book was so freaking amazing. Of course I give it five stars. <laughs> Favorite book ever. Um, it is the story of um, Frenchie, who is a Métis and he comes from a French, um, he actually comes from a French colony in the uh, in Canada um, and this is a dystopian. This happens um, after the world is like breaking apart and people don't dream anymore. People can't dream anymore so they uh, are going after um, native people to um, steal their marrow. So they think that's where the dreams are hidden. But anyways, <laughs> apart from that, it is one of the greatest book I have ever read. And it's so tiny. Um, I don't even know how to express my love for this book. It was just so beautiful and I love native uh, culture so I mean that's a plus um, it's just Frenchie and his group who are running away together <laughs> and it is 
just beautiful. I don't have words for this book. I will probably never have words for this. Um, I just loved all of the characters and it made me cry. Like, not cry a little, like, it made me sob. Just go ahead and read this. It is beautiful and everybody should read this. It is wonderful. It's a known voices book. Highly recommend. I don't know what it said. My camera's flashing. This book was my favorite in the series. I just think some things weren't good, but I was able to overlook them, even though maybe I shouldn't. Um, there's amazing fat rep in this book, but the character who is fat constantly degrades herself, and I hated that. I mean, I'm fat. I will admit that, and that's okay. I don't mind. It's just life. Um, I am not like overly um, obese. I am just fat. And I have come a long way and I have started accepting myself as I am. So the fact that this character keeps on bullying on herself and she keeps assuming everybody's pointing at her and telling her she's fat, it's just sad. And I wished um, when she's told those things to others, um, like, oh, you were gonna say I'm fat. I wish the others would have said something like, stop that, who cares, you're fat or whatever. I don't know, I just think there should have been like another message incor incorporated in this story about fat rap, but otherwise it was beautiful and the world is amazing. Um, what am I to say, what? What, what else can I say? This series keeps on blowing me away. Next is something some people might be excited that I read and it is The Aiding Game by Sally Torn and this is a romance uh, novel about Lucy and Josh who are uh, colleagues in a publishing house and they always hated each other and you know stuff happens and if you are not a fan of late to love relationships do not read that. You will find this annoying. But I really enjoyed it. I actually gave this book five stars. Not because it is the most amazing thing, but it was so freaking good for what it is. Um, it was fantastic. I mean, yeah, it took me a while to read because I am somebody that gets really frustrated with um, hate to love relationships, even though I love them. I got so frustrated and I wanted everything to happen so fast so I always put it down instead of keep on reading. That's my uh, coping me mechanism. The audiobook is amazing. I read half audio, half physical. So maybe if you want me to do a review, a com full complete review for this, let me know down below so I will do it. Next is two books in the same series and it is the Harry Potter series. The first book being The Philosopher's Stone and The Chamber of Secrets. And I read those both as the those uh, physical copies but also the illustrated versions. And uh, those books were great. Um, as you might know, I am currently reading the whole series for the first time. I actually read this book like three or four times but I still find myself like fascinated and surprised that stuff so you know and this was my first time completing this and I gave them both five stars this is fantastic and I am somebody who uh, grew up with uh, you know loving these series as movies so the fact that I read these just made me feel all of the good feelings that I was feeling while watching those movies but anyways those characters are amazing I'm so glad I'm learning more about them and yeah it's very good the final physical book I have is Saga Volume 8 by Brian K. Vogan and Fiona Staples and this guy is of course 5 out of 5 stars. I can't tell you what it's about because obviously it's the 8th book. But this is a sci-fi graphic novel series. The art style is beautiful and it is just so amazing. The characters are fantastic. Um, it's about those two characters who are uh, winged and, tor and horned. And those uh, races, I guess, have been battling for ages and ages. And they come together um, and, you know, 
they love each other, they have a child, this child is very um, searched for, um, and you know, adventures and ensues. <laughs> it was just good. Read this series. I, read this, okay? Okay. You just need to read it. It's so good. And the last book I read um, this month is a book I read as an audio, so I don't have it with me, and it is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I gave this book four stars, and it is the story of the Lee family um, who, um, after the disappearance of Lydia, um, try to, you know, cope with it. Um, there's not much else to say about this. You shouldn't go into this with so much information about what it is. Um, I read it has an audio, so of course I didn't get to experience the writing um, 100%, but it was so beautiful. Um, I can tell the writing is amazing and the characters were very fascinating. They were, they all had different personalities, which I really enjoyed because, you know, sometimes people in the same family tend to, like, be very similar in books and I hate that, but they were all individuals and I just really enjoyed that. I definitely recommend it. Um, I think I would have enjoyed it more um, if I actually read it as a physical book, but you know, didn't have the opportunity. This was my January wrap up. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know down below what books you have read this month. Um, I'm very interested to know. And if any of those books uh, you think should have a more developed review, so I can uh, do it for you guys. Um, and. I will have all of the reviews on Goodreads that I did for those books down below. So go check them out. They will be more in depth than what I said in this video. I was trying not to make a long video. So yeah, um, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe down below to see more of my wrap ups and have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.